<clears throat> All right, so today I finally got to see a movie I've been pretty excited to watch called I, Tonya. Um, now, I heard about this not because I follow movies. I actually heard about this straight up just from other people. Like, people were like... Like, especially IB people were just sitting there talking about, like, I, Tanya and being like, oh my gosh, like this movie, I can't wait for this movie, and I had no idea what it was about. Um, then I find out it's a figure skating movie starring R- Margot Robbie, and um, I like Margot Robbie, uh, I think she's a very good actress, um, and I don't care about figure skating, but yeah, whatever. So, um, and I hear I got, like, awards nominations, right, like, um... Alice and Janie for Best Supporting Actress, which, um, by the way, full well deserved. That was a great performance. I know moms like Alice and Janie in this movie. Um, and then, like, I like Margot Robbie at, in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, I, I feel like Suicide Squad's not her fault. Like, that's the script. That's the, that's the script's fault. Um, but, yeah, so that's a thing. And then, like, um, what else is there? Um... I didn't, the director, I had never seen any of his other stuff. I didn't care about The Finest Hours. I might see Ma- Lars and the Real Girl because that looked interesting. Um, but yeah, I didn't know anything about this movie like before everyone said anything about it. And okay, so t- it's about Tanya Harding. Um, and apparently everyone else in the world knows who Tanya Harding is except me. Like literally, I was like, who? And she's like, the figure skating girl who bashed in the girl's knee. And I'm like, What? Like, that's a thing? And then the movie, they're like, oh, she was the second most known person in the world behind Bill Clinton? And I'm like, what? How do I... How was I just totally in the dark about this whole period of history where she was the most... Like, she was like the Michael Phelps of skiing. Not skiing. What is it called? Figure skating. You know? She's the Michael Jordan of figure skating. She's the Babe... (laughs) Babe Ruth... A fig- apparently um, That's what I gathered from this um, But yeah um, So it was a very interesting story um, it's Like I love the tone of this movie Because it felt like uh, Wolf of Wall Street meets Whiplash Which is crazy Because that's my favorite movie of 2013 And my favorite movie of 2014 So this is a recipe for success Right um, It's got the whole like main character who's like rising to power but it's kind of an asshole and not doing it in the best way uh wolf wall street side and where the main character is like narrating to the camera and like breaking the fourth wall and it's very foul-mouthed and like you know crude humor and then um what was it then it's also like whiplash where it's like someone is trying to rise to the top with very tough love like the mom in this movie is just like Fletcher Cox in uh, Whiplash, where it's like she's like motivating her through just sheer pain. Like she puts her through so much misery and um, like emotional pain more so than like physical pain. But yeah, poor Tanya Harding. Holy crap. Like she was beat by her mom, her, her husband. And then the world hated her for something she didn't even do. And then, what's it called? The freaking, like, she lost her, she couldn't skate anymore. Like, wow. And her dad left her. Like, this movie is just miserable for her. And, like, you just feel so bad. Because it's like the whole, like, none of it's, like, the whole movie, they, she keeps saying it's not her fault. And it really isn't. Like, I, I, like for like a lot of things aren't her fault. Like, it's not her fault. She, it, like, was raised by such shitty parents. It's not her fault that like this guy turned into some huge asshole. It's not like the whole incident in general is not her fault. Apparently, though, I'm an idiot though, and apparently, ta- everyone knows that Tanya Harding's a liar, and um, none of the things in the movie that happened the way they happened. Uh, But, like, the whole thing's up in the air because you can't prove anything. But, like, I don't know. I have a feeling that this is probably pretty accurate. Um, But, yeah, uh, who else is in this? I already talked about Margot Robbie and Alice and Janie. Um, Sebastian Stan was all right. Um, He did fine. He's the Winter Soldier. Um, Who else? Um, 
the his friend Stan, Steve. I, I want to say Sean. Sean. I want to say Sean. Um, he was actually really funny. And when they showed the clips of people that like what they looked like in real life, I was like, that's dead on. Uh, Alice and Janie's bird was hilarious. That was so funny. Like I thought that was just a weird thing they added for the movie. And then they show the clip of the mom with the bird, and I'm like, what? <laughs> But yeah, so that was nice. Um, it was very funny. This movie is hilarious. Like, the whole first 30 minutes, I was laughing the entire time. It, it, you know, once the plot starts to kick in and it gets sad and miserable, then it's it's not as funny. But, like, still, overall, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. Um, very sad, though. I, like, I just felt so bad. Like, the best part of this movie, though, like, her Oscar scene is when, which she won't win an Oscar, but, like, um, when Margot Robbie is sitting there and she's, like, um, in court, and they tell her she can't skate anymore, which we watched this girl's entire life. She dropped out of high school. She, like, like, her whole life is skating, and they tell her she's banned from skating anymore. I'm like, shit, like, you're dead. You're dead, you know? Like, that was your life. And your life is over. Like, that's crazy to me. Um, but yeah, that was a very, like, that that scene really got me. Um, but yeah, it was crazy watching Alice and Janie because I was just like, I know moms like that. Like, I've, I've been around moms that are, like, psychopaths about their kids. And it's crazy because, you know, it's it, she was raised like that. It's it's kind of the nature versus nurture thing. Um where, where, like, you know, you could say, like, oh, she's just a bad person. or But, like, I don't think so. I think it was the way she was raised. Um, she was miserably raised by that awful woman. Um, and then there's that, okay, so there's that scene where, like, um, she's, like, they're, like, talking about the plan right in front of her. And uh, Margaret Robbie's like, yeah, no, don't do it. Um, uh, like, leave, get away. I don't want any part of this. And, like, I'm like, that should absolve her right there. Like, you know, she didn't want to do the death threat at all. She didn't... I mean, I guess she was culpable because she knew about the... the What was it? The knee? She knew they were responsible for the knee and didn't say anything. But, like, wow. And then she's like, she's like, I'll do anything. Give me the prison sentence. I'll go to prison. And I was like... But they, they were like, no, sorry. And, like, that was just miserable watching that happen. Oh, my gosh. Um, but yeah, uh, hmm, I don't know. I, uh, the skating scenes were phenomenal. I thought that was very neat. I heard there was, like, issues with, like, the CGI for those scenes. But, like, I didn't really have an issue with it. I thought, I thought they were, I thought they looked beautiful. And she did a great job. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking four out of five just because I can't see myself running to watch this movie again. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I d- I d- I'm going to go with... Because I honestly... My 10 Clo- my, not my 10 Cloverfield. Cloverfield Paradox Review. I said that um, it was 5 out of 5 because I'm going to watch it again. But, like, will I watch it again? When was the last time I watched Cloverfield? Or 10 Cloverfield? I said 10 Cloverfield laying three times in the theater, so that's not accurate. But, like, yeah, so I'm going to go 4 out of 5. Very good, I think... Um, I already did my Oscar nominations, um, but I think I'm going to add Allison Janney. I don't know who I'm going to take off. Um, and then might add Margot Robbie because she did a phenomenal job too. Uh, but overall, very funny. Very, very funny. Um, but, you know, it, it suffers from a little bit of, you know, been there, like, done that. <laughs> like, we've, we've seen this movie before. Kinda. Not really. But, like, you know, like, it's the mismatch of Wolf Wall Street and Whiplash, and they both did it better, honestly. Um, but, yeah, uh, four to five, very enjoyable experience, very sad. All my reviews are, like, nine, like an average of nine minutes long. Like, this is crazy. But, yeah, Adam, never figure skate, and this movie reminds you of why you quit playing sports. All right, um, that's all I got. All right, love you, Adam. I love you so much. So much. All right, Rachel, I wanted to give her opinion too. Go, Rach. You have 10 seconds. Hi, my name's Rachel. I watched the movie with Adam today, but he left me out because he's rude. And um, I really liked the movie. It was very funny, even though it was like weird funny. Like all the, all the funny parts were just her being abused. 
which is weird to say. So your official stance is women abuse is funny? Yes. Um, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, her mom, honestly, I think her mom should win an award like for her character. You mean like an Oscar? Yeah. No. Is, she, is it nominated for an Oscar? Yes. Oh. Well, she should win that because she was really, really good. I think the mom was the highlight of the entire thing. Like, her mom and then the mom from Three Billboards are going, like, head to head. Like, no, no, this is a Best Supporting Actress. Uh, Billboards is Best uh, But I mean, like, from my personal opinion of actresses so far. Just they in both, general? Well, that's not fair because one had a lot more to do and the other one had nothing to do. But they had, like, the kind of general same, like, motherly. Like, they were both, Oh, yeah, like, so you're comparing the characters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, I liked how they did, like, in the scenes, there was, like... It'd be like there'd be narrating and like like there'd be some there'd be a third person narrating. Well, not a third person, but like the third person voice narrating the scene. And then like one of the characters would break out of character and like talk directly to the camera and then finish the narration. They would break character. Well, like they would. Yeah. They'd break the fourth wall. Yeah, that. And then talk directly to the camera. And I like that. And I don't know. I just liked it. I liked her character. Margaret, is that her name? Margot. Margot. Make sure it doesn't go over 15 minutes. Oh, I have 11 minutes. Margot's character is really, really good. Her makeup, and when she does an interview as I, Tanya, it doesn't even look like her. I was like, what the heck? But yeah, she did a really good job at being, like, domestically abused child. She did a good job being abused, honestly. Like, no, like, how, like, when you're abused, that's how you turn out. And she did a really good job at portraying that. And I really liked it a lot, and I enjoyed it a lot. I give it five out of five, but I'm not an official movie critic. So, yeah. All right. Bye.